I got a phone call from Tom Holdman, and Tom is a designer of all the stained glass windows in maybe 80 temples, and he said he's making a big, beautiful piece for the Rome temple. And he said, I really want some stones that will represent the 12 tribes of Israel. And he's referring to a scripture in Exodus that describes 12 different stones representing each tribe fixed onto a breastplate for the high priest. Our biggest challenge in this project was trying to figure out what actually represents the names that are given in the scripture. We, we really could represent each stone individually because we didn't know what they were. So we came down here to the collection, and there just are a huge number of rocks in here from way back in the 1800s up until today. We went by the names in the scripture, so they have things like amethyst, topaz, beryl, onyx, and jasper. This also would fit as an agate, um, so jasper and agate are both mentioned in the scripture. We also wanted to make sure that these were rocks they could have had available to them in that region. They probably didn't have a real diamond, and so we chose Herkimer diamond, which is a variety of quartz. There were three stones, we really don't know what they were because the words are not used anymore, and those are sardius, carbuncle, what in the world is a carbuncle? We still don't really know what that is, and ligure. Even Jewish rabbis don't agree on what these names represent, so we thought, let's take 12 colorful stones that are beautiful and could have been present. For uh, carbuncle, we chose uh, rhodochrosite. It's a beautiful pink stone, has a beautiful texture. After we gave him the stones, they made them quickly, put them into the window, and then sent them to Rome. So the first time I saw our stones in the stained glass was in the visitor center on the day of the open house. It was just such an overwhelming experience to go there in the temple and see the Christus and 12 apostles and see the five panels that Tom had created with Christ as the central figure. And I mean, it just was, amazing to me. I kind of walked around the corner and, oh, there they were, right? Sitting right there in the corner, um, right next to this beautiful child's head. And um, they're so beautiful. They're really so beautiful. And I'm, I'm so pleased that we're in there. For this piece, he really wanted to represent all of the parables from Christ's uh, ministry. He has a widow's mite, the salt from the Dead Sea. And so it's, it's full of symbolism. And so this was just very special to me to see the most beautiful stones that we could find represented there in the window. The rocks that were included in the temple could just still be sitting in the drawer. And now it's made its way to the Rome temple stained glass. I mean, that's such a special story. It's like they've been sort of brought up out of their origins and cut and polished and refined and made, you know, beautiful, as beautiful as they possibly could be for the whole world to see.